Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to attach any props as accessory to any of the avatars and characters in Icon 7. This is the Icon 7, I already opened it and now I will just apply a random avatar from here. So I will choose the random avatar for example, the G6 Hedy. Next, as demo, I will just drag out some random props from the props library. From here, I click the props and I will select 3D blocks. For example, now I, I will just drag out a pyramid. I want to attach this pyramid to the avatar's head. Before that, I will apply some motions, use the motion as a test to make sure that it really moves together with, with the avatar. So now I will just apply the G6 motion heady to perform something. Let's say I, I use this to change pose, drag out. Now this avatar already has certain pose. Now, I double click to select this prop and make sure check again. It is a single prop that selected. I want to attach this prop to the avatar's head. I will just click here. I will drag down. I can see some words that attached to. So now, I pick the parents and I click the avatar's head. Now you can see. This pyramid is under the Hedy, the whole avatar. Now I try to play. You can see, actually, this prop already attached to the head. It moved together with the head. Now I will just, just double click this prop or I select from here. I, I just press R to resize it and really, really put this on the, the avatar's head. I press W to move it. Now, I really want to put this pyramid. I resize it again. And I will just attach to the head. Now, I try to play again. I play. Now you can see, it is really attached to the avatar's head as an accessory. So demo again, I will choose again another prop to attach to Avatar's hand. It's for example, I choose this, the Taurus or anything. Say the cross can be anything. First, I also do the same way. Now, the cross is selected separately as a prop. I click here and go to find attach to and pick the parent. Now, I click the hand. Alright, now you see attach to the tie is wrong. So, I detach and pick the parent again. I make sure I click. The tie is wrong. Make sure I have to click. So detach again. Attach to the hand. Wrong again. I want to make sure I really click the hand. Pick the parents. Still the type. Now it moved together with the tie. So I better I better detach it first and now I double click the avatar, make sure I select the avatar, select from the scene. This avatar I want to change the body posture first to make sure that I I click here. Edit the motion layer. 
I want to make sure that this hand is out first and then now I, I select the cross and then I purposely click here and pick the parent sorry attach to attach to the hand not the thumb pick the parent again now attach to the hand is the correct way so now I want to select this avatar again and make sure I recover back the change so now where is it edit motion layer make sure I move back now you can see actually the cross is attached to the hand now I can close this then I move the cross select the cross make sure I resize it properly and I move it to attach to the hand Alright, now you can see, attached to the hand already, once attached, if I play, it really moves together with the hand. Now you can see this cross is really moved together with the avatar's hand. And this pyramid is moved together with the avatar's head. This is what we call attach the prop and attach any props to the avatar as accessory. So now, how to detach it? Then you need to select select the accessory that already attached to the avatar and go and find back and click detach. Then it will back to the prop. Now if I play, it will no more move together with the avatar's hand. It already become an in independent prop. Same as this also, the pyramid I can detach it and play again. It won't move together with the avatar. Of course, now I, pr I click undo. Now, it is attached. Undo again. Now, undo. Now, this cross back attached to the hand. Alright, that's all for today about how to attach any prop to the avatar in any body part. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Activate the notification by selecting, clicking the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.